Hi everyone, welcome to the session number 5 of Python Basic. In this session, we will learn about the tuples in Python. And we will cover what is tuples, how to create tuples, how to access tuple elements, followed by updating tuples, tuple concatenation, tuple nesting, delete tuples, multiply and repeat tuples, followed by slicing in tuples, then how to find the length of tuple, how to convert list into a tuple, iterations in tuples, tuple functions, and followed by the difference between the tuples and list. So let's start. Okay, so what is tuples? Now, tuples is nothing but a collection of mixed data types and objects which are, which are separated by comma. It is ordered and the most important thing is tuples are immutable. Once a tuple is formed, we cannot add any member. We cannot change any member or, or the item uh, inside a tuple. Tuples is created using round bracket and this is the, one of the difference. Like tuples is created using the round bracket whereas list is created using the square bracket. So first part is completed. So now we, what we'll do, we'll create how to create tuples. So we'll say tuple is equals to. Now if you create tuple is created with round bracket. Okay. If you give this here yeah, print type of tuple. So you can see this says a tuple is not formed but instead a string is formed. So in, in order to create tuple what you have to give tuple is equals to followed by a comma and then if you print now tuple the type is tuple right. So the second part is over now the third question is how to access the element of a tuple so what we will do we will create a tuple tuple a is equals to so what we'll do we'll create my own tuple my tuple which is equals to okay so once we do this a tuple is created okay so this is the content of a tuple now if you want to access the element so we can access like my tuple zeroth element is indexing how it is done now if I give and also if I want to like access the last element then I'll give minus one the way how we access the element in list that thing is this that is the similarity between tuple and list now how to update a tuple suppose I give So you can see tuple does not support any item assignment. So once tuple is created, you cannot change that. Even if you want to add that append also, like if you have a list, what I'll do, my list is equals to the same content I'll give. Now what I'll do, my list dot And if I print here my list, so you can see Sweden is added. But if, if I want to do the same in tuple, it will not be because tuple, the basic definition architecture of tuple is like it is immutable. Once it is formed, you cannot do anything. You can create a new tuple from the existing tuples. Now we have this my tuple is there, right? What we'll do. Uh, If I want to concatenate, right? So what we'll do? Print or can they print underscore my tuple plus my tuple one. And now if I want to print tuple content. So you can see after UK, Sweden, France and Ireland is also added. Now, tuple nesting. What is tuple nesting? Tuple nesting is, suppose we have a tuple A which is equals to 1, 
then we have double the now after this what i will do is i'll create one more tuple tuple c which is equals to tuple a comma tuple b and then i'll print tuple c So you can see this is nothing but the tuple nesting. We can have both the numbers, floats, and the string as well in the final tuple C. Now, how do we delete the tuple? This is simple. D E L. This is deleted. Now, if I want to tuple C, the option tuple C itself is not there, so it is not defined. Now, suppose I have a tuple something. And I want to repeat this. So what I will do? Print tuple repetition into five times. Suppose. So you can see Jai Ho India. Jai Ho India is repeated five times. Now slicing in tuples. What is slicing in tuples? Tuples we have. This is my tuple, right? Now, if I want to get only the China and Russia, in that case, I'll do print my tuple, and then I'll pass China and Russia, right? So I'll pass. This is first index. Index is one comma, and this is zero. China is one. Russia is two. In Germany is three, right? So if I want to get Russia, I'll pass still three because then only I will be able to get the index for like item Russia. So you can see. Now, if you want to get from Uh, Russia, Germany, and uh, Russia, Germany, Japan. Okay. In that case, what I will do? Print my tuple. Russia index of Russia is how much? Zero, one, two, two, four colon, zero, one, two, three, four. So if I want to go to the fourth index, I need to pass five here. Russia, Germany, and Japan. That's how. That is how the indexing works. Now, once this is done. How do you find the length of tuple? That is very simple, sir. The total elements are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So total is seven. Till from zero to six means seven elements. And how to convert a list into a tuple, right? Suppose we'll say tuple underscore from list tuple and my list is there. If I print this, so my tuple is created from a list, which was my my list was a we have defined it as a list. Now, what is the iterations in tuple? Suppose I have this seven countries. I want to print them like like from one by one. So I will say for i in range. So this is how it is like we can nest the items. Now tuple functions. There are predefined tuple functions which we can use. Okay, we have defined here some uh, numbers. Okay, tuple a, the max function. So what we'll do? Print max of control v. A is now you execute this. So you see the maximum uh, uh, like value of this like items in my tuple is for six hundred. It is displayed now. If I want to give the minimum value, the minimum value should be one, and it is printed correctly. After this, what is my next like what? So like there are also. Uh, other functions like length, which I have already shown, even the other functions like apart from length, there is how to convert a list into tuples, which I have already shown in uh, like length. I have shown here in task number ten. 
where I stay converting from a uh, list to a tuple, right? Updating tuple. Yeah, how to convert a so this I have used tuple. Okay, now the difference between okay this max and this functions it's the part of this tuple function. Now the difference between the tuples and list are quite a few. So the very basic difference is when the formation of uh, during the formation of the tuples and list tuple will use the normal round bracket whereas the list will use square bracket. Then the tuples are immutable or changeable whereas lists lists are not immutable they can be changed the execution time taken for tu tuple is much lesser than it is taken for a list okay i'll show you a small example where we will what we'll do we'll import time of it which will give you the time of the execution in case of uh, tuple and in case of a list so what we are going to do we will use the time it and we'll get the performance difference uh, performance difference used for execution of the tuple and execution of a list let's print here We'll pass the tuple first and we will execute it for 10 million time. Now, if we execute this, we'll get the time taken in case of tuples, which is much lesser in case of as compared to a list. Okay, and we'll see the time difference between like when while executing a tuple and while executing a list. Again, we'll execute it separately. So you can see the difference in the time. So this is how so we can say like, like tuples are more efficient than list in terms of time taken tuple can be dictionary keys like we have a dictionary separate data type in uh, python if, if, uh, tuple can be dictionary keys whereas list cannot be and uh, when i'll explain about the like uh, set uh, then also I, i'll show you the difference like tuple can be a values in set whereas list cannot be a values in set so that's it for the session like what we have done here is uh, i've started with explaining the tuples what is tuples followed by creating tuples accessing the tuple elements then updating the tuples then i've explained ex updating the tuples which was not possible because tuples are immutable then I've explained about the tuples concatenation, tuple nesting, deleting the tuples, then multiply and repeat the tuple elements, slicing, I've explained the slicing in tuples, then the rest of the thing followed by showing you the code like efficiency in terms of times and which is a major uh, difference between the tuples and list. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please post in the comment section and uh, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.